How's it going people, Sam and Slab here, and this is your 100% completion guide to the Fremenic Saga Nadia. So let's get started. First off, you need a few requirements to actually unlock it. These are, you need to have released Skaldron from normal dungeon floors between 1 and 11. You also need to have found the damaged device, which you can get on floor 18 to 22. There are some skill requirements as well, which are level 60 attack, 55 dungeon and 45 thieving. This is a complete run start to finish, including all of the unabridged objectives to get that 100% completion, but if for whatever reason you don't want to watch the guide and just want the objectives, they are here for you. Completely collect Hirthens, Tomas and Eudora's memories. Answer all of Tomas' men and the Necrolords correctly, and do not run out of portal power at any time. Once you're ready, come to the west of the Dungeoneering Token NPC and go ahead and talk to Skuldron. Right click and start Saga, and choose Nadir. So you can quickly run through the chat, and you'll receive this little cutscene here. Just quickly spam through all of the chat. At this point you will actually regain control but there is absolutely nothing for you to do. Simply wait around until Lucian and Zamorogal have finished talking. Should take a few minutes. You can wander around if you want, as soon as they finish talking you will teleport back to Lucian. Either way, wait them out. So once they finish talking, you will teleport straight right next to them and they will send you on your way. So you have another little cutscene and this time you will appear just outside Daemonheim itself. And throughout this entire saga, you will be controlling Moya, the daughter of Lucian. Well, first things first, as soon as you regain control, I highly recommend checking your audio settings and putting sound effects on as high as possible. And I'd also put down music so you can't hear it. The reason for this is right in front of us. Make your way over to Daemonheim and you will have a little cutscene. At three points during this saga, you will actually try to steal memories from random people throughout the saga. And basically there is a little mini game to play. You need to find all of the memories to get the successful 100% unabridged completion. And to do that it's a lot easier if you have the sounds on. And this is the first one coming up right now. So as soon as you regain control, go ahead and interrogate the merchant. So it tells you how to play. It's fairly straightforward. Basically you control this little orange circle and the closer you are to the hidden memories, the quicker it'll pulse. There's basically three speeds to it and each of them have like a pulsing sound at the same time, which is why I recommend using the sound effects. Basically, you want to keep looking around randomly throughout this until eventually it starts flashing an incredible amount and the noise is pretty rapid. As soon as you find that spot, just simply click. Like that. You'll know if you've done it correctly as one of the bars on the bottom of that little window will be completely full. 
If you're slightly off or nowhere near it, the bar will either not move or it'll be half full. If that happens, you will need to restart this saga. You must have 100% steel on these memories. So they need to be in the correct place. It is different for everybody, so I can't really say this is the places where they are for you. But the general idea is quite simple. Just move your arrow around until eventually it pulses as quick as possible. Click, move on to the next one. So there you go. Once you're done, quickly spam through the chat. And you will then kill the merchant and take the disguise. With the disguise in hand, head on in to Daemonheim itself. Once inside, a little window will pop up telling you to hold, go down the stairs. Go ahead and do that. Climb down the entrance you normally would to do a dungeoneering floor. So you'll appear inside a frozen floor. Go directly ahead and into the next room. At which point you'll have this little cutscene. So as soon as you regain control, walk into the room a little bit more and you'll receive another cutscene. And now it's time to steal our second set of memories. So it's exactly the same as before, nothing's really changed, just move your mouse about until it pulses as quickly as possible, and click. So there we go, once you found all three memories successfully, you can spam through the chat with this warrior. And you will kill him and then take his disguise. So, dressed as the warrior, a mage will come in, quickly spam through the chat, and head through the door the mage just came through on the east side. Head on inside and then take the door to the south. Quickly run through the chat and keep heading south. At which point you will now appear in a furnished room. So once you're here, first you want to head over to the eastern room. It will be a dead end but you will have to run halfway through to get some text. Once you've done that, head down to the southern room. And as soon as you enter, you will have a little cutscene. 
choose the first option. Get something off your chest, soldier. Be my guest. And keep heading south into the next room. Then head through the western door. And you'll receive another little cutscene, this time with a mage. Ask me later, Druff. I have no time for you right now. Option one again. So once you've regained control, you now want to head south. And through the southern door. Once inside, you'll have a yet again another cutscene. Tell them to wait there, and no practice until I return. Option one again. At which point you now want to head through the eastern door. Once you're in the eastern room, head through the southern door. And then head through the eastern door. The southern door will be locked. which point you'll appear somewhere else in the dungeon. Once you regain control, head through the southern door. Once in here, head down to the southern door once again. Head on inside. And once you do, you will have another little cutscene. This time with a Necrolord. And this is the third time we're going to be stealing memories in this saga. So it's exactly the same as the two previous times. Literally just move your mouse around until eventually you find the spot where the memories are and click. So, once you've completed it, the Necro Lord will regain control of himself, and you now have to kill him. So, go ahead and stab him. Stab him to death. It's pretty straightforward, it's a very easy fight. Just use a, some basic melee skills, you don't need to worry about the undead coming at you. Just literally finish off the Necro Lord and everything else dies. As soon as he's dead, you will now be stealing his disguise, and you are now an Echo Lord. You'll receive another little cutscene. Quickly spam through the chat. Once you regain control, you want to head back a room up to your north, and then head through to the eastern room. And you do want to go inside and run about halfway in, then come back out. Once you've done that, head south, back into the room where you've just killed the Necro Lord, and head south once again. So, once you regain control, you want to head through the room to your east. Head on inside, and then head through to the east once again. Uh, 
and then enter the room with a bunch of dead bodies and you'll receive a little cutscene. Head back out and as you do you'll have a little cutscene where voices will come from the portal. Once you regain control, exit to the western room and then follow the water into the southern room. Once inside, you'll be treated with a little cutscene. Answer, cut off their hands, option one. Once you regain control, head south once again. Then through the western door. And you'll receive another little cutscene with Necro Lords. Answer kill him or I will kill you. Option one. So at this point, once you've regained control, you want to head through the western room. And run through towards the portal. And you'll receive a bit of text. At which point you'll start to drain from the portals. Your portal power is now in play. You cannot let this drop to 0%. You can refill it by simply using your skills while attacking, which comes later on in the saga or from draining from portals as we pass them. You'll know it when it's fully run out as your adrenaline will hit 0%. Head on through to the next room anyway and once inside choose the third option. The body is on the floor above, fetch it yourself. Once you've done that, you want to head through to the Eastern Room. And then through to the Eastern Room once again. And this time head through the Southern Door. Once inside, you'll see a garage -o. Follow the garage -o through the eastern door. Or the Blood Rager, whatever it is. Which point you want to set your magic to whichever is most powerful for you, and head on in. Once inside, you'll have a little cutscene, and you'll be discovered as an intruder. So at this point on where your portal power comes into play. So go ahead and kill this hooved mage. Use whichever skills you have access to. Your basic melee attack skills tend to come in handy here. There's a portal you can drain right next to you. Go ahead and drain that. Don't press anything else and your adrenaline will actually run all the way up to 100%. Now you need to keep an eye out on your portal power, or your adrenaline. If your adrenaline hit naught at this point, you will have to restart. Head in to the next room to your east and kill all of the enemies inside. Throughout these fights, you'll only gain access to some basic fighting skills. Simply spam them to keep your adrenaline at 100%. So once they're all dead, head on through to the next room once again.
and you'll be on another set of floors. So once in here, if you need adrenaline, there is a portal in this room you can drain. If not, simply head through the southern door. Once inside, you'll receive another little cutscene. Go ahead and kill everything once again. Remember to keep using your skills whenever possible to keep your adrenaline up. So finally once everything is dead, you want to enter the eastern room. You will have to wait until you are out of combat stance though. As soon as you're out, head through to the eastern room. And inside will be another bunch of enemies and a cutscene will incur. They'll disappear into the next room and lock the door. Go ahead and unlock the silver shield door. And head on in. Once inside, go ahead and kill all of the enemies. Once again, don't forget to spam your skills to keep your adrenaline up. There are portals randomly thrown throughout each of these rooms as you walk through them. You just need to look for them if you happen to get low on adrenaline. Though personally, if you're running through these pretty quickly and spamming your skills as you go, you shouldn't actually need another portal. Once you've killed them all, head through the southern door. Head on inside. If you need adrenaline, there's a portal in this room. If not, carry on down to your south. Once inside, you'll receive another cutscene. Once you regain control, go ahead and kill all of the enemies. There is a portal inside this room as well if you need extra adrenaline. As usual, just spam your skills to keep your adrenaline up and you shouldn't need them. Make sure you kill every enemy in this room. There is one sneaking around at the back normally. Once you've gained control, break the green lock. and head on through. Which point there will be another little cutscene. Once you gain control, kill everything once again. There's multiple portals in this room if you need more adrenaline, but if you're spamming skills you shouldn't need any whatsoever. Once you've killed them all, head on through to the next room. And finally, head on through again. And it's time to meet the master of this place. So, once you've regained control, head on through the eastern room. As soon as you enter, you'll receive a cutscene, and you will find the Mark of the Majora. 
as well as the Majra Bilrak. Once you've regained control, go ahead and check the mark. You receive another little cutscene. At which point you can choose any of these four options, it doesn't matter which one you actually choose. Once you've regained control, go ahead and talk to Bilrak. You will then receive a bunch of options. Start from five and make your way down to one, choosing different answers along the way. So five, then four, then three. Then two. And one. And then five. At which point Bill Rack will give you a proposition. You can choose whichever one you wish, as this just dictates how the story ends. And that is it for the Fremenic Saga Nadia. So if you've done everything exactly the same as I've done, and you've listened to what I said, you should have 100% completion and the unabridged reward. Good times. So all in all, fairly simple, it does take a little while, 20 to 30 minutes, give or take. For the rewards for the abridged book, you get 3,750 Dungeoneering XP, as well as the 375 tokens. For the unabridged, you gain 21,670 Dungeoneering XP, as well as the equivalent tokens, and you also get to choose between nearly 12k Thieving XP or 37k Attack XP. Nice and easy. So that is it for Nadir. Uh, next up is the two Thok Sagas. So, I will catch you all later. Hopefully you find this guide useful, and I will see you again. Have a good one.